Hey everyone, I'm here in Cursor, but don't worry, this isn't just for Cursor. It also works with Windsurf and Klein in VS Code. The tool I'm about to show you is an MCP server. And if you're not familiar with MCP servers, don't worry. I'll explain that later in the video. Right now, I have a prompt that will generate a component for this features tab right here. This is just an example landing page I created for this video. And I'll show you how you can speed up front end development by integrating this MCP server into your workflow. So let's go ahead and run the prompt. This prompt instructs the tool to create a React component with the dark theme, specifies other details, and ensures that the entire section is made into a component and implemented into the landing page. Now you can see that the MCP tool is calling the component builder, which is one of the tools available within this MCP server. Let's go ahead and run it to see what it generates. It looks like the tool has created a component and now it's checking the project structure before proceeding with the implementation. The component is currently being generated and placed into a TypeScript file. This is the implementation right here. You can see that it was changed exactly according to what was specified in the prompt. This really cool grain effect with the lighting on the cards looks amazing. This is how you can quickly implement full components into your project with just a single prompt. The MCP tool makes the call generates the component, and then cursor implements it automatically. It's pretty cool. For the installation, we're here in the GitHub repository of the tool. As we scroll down, you'll see the installation instructions for different IDEs. MCP service is like a USB-C cable for AI models. It lets them easily connect and share info. In simple terms, it's a standardized system that lets different models exchange context data so they all work with the same up-to-date information. What I like about this MCP server is that they've provided installation instructions for all the IDEs that currently support MCP implementations such as Cursor, Windsurf, and even VS Code with Klein. So that's pretty cool of them. But you'll notice that all of these follow the same basic process. They all require just one environment variable which is the API key from 21st.dev or Magic UI. So just go ahead and search for Magic UI and you'll come across their signup page. After signing up, you'll see something like this is essentially their dashboard. To find your API key, navigate to the API docs and keys section. When you scroll down, you'll see your API key right there. Just copy this API key, paste it into the command and it will start accepting requests and working for you. It's pretty simple. There's nothing particularly complex about installing this MCP server. And if you're wondering what would you need to do this on Windows, then unfortunately, MCPs don't really work on Windows as I've heard, but you can use WSL installation process, which is really, really easy. Just install WSL and you can use the MCP servers with that. All right, let me quickly show you the tools that this MCP server offers. First, we have the Magic Component Builder the logo search, which is a pretty cool tool, and the component inspiration tool. Now, the component builder tool essentially builds an entire component for you. It works like V0 inside cursor. You just describe what you want, including the design and details, and it implements it directly in your application. Then there's the logo search. You can quickly ask it to generate logos or any images, and it will return either SVGs or the actual code for those images. Cursor can then take that code and apply it wherever you need in your project. Finally, we have the component inspiration tool. I didn't find it particularly useful because if you ask for any component, it just gives you the code without any preview. So not really that helpful, but I'll show you a simple alternative that works much better instead. Now UI inspirations and SVG logo searches are unlimited, but unfortunately UI generation with this MCP server is paid you'll need to upgrade to a higher plan if you want more than five generations per month, which is pretty disappointing. But there are alternatives that I mentioned earlier, and I'll show you those as well. If you don't want to upgrade, the SVG logo search tool is still really useful. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so this is a carousel that I implemented earlier. Now the icons here, I didn't fetch them myself. Cursor handled their implementation. You can see there are some discrepancies and the icons are really small. This is because the component was generated by Cursor. And honestly, 
Cursor-made components aren't that special, unlike this one, which has cool animations and effects because it took inspiration from a UI library. However, the icon import feature was really impressive. As you can see here, I asked it to add logos, and it automatically called the logo search tool from the MCP server, queried the logos, and generated the JSX for them, which was then implemented. This feature is seriously useful, and even if you don't want to generate components using this tool, you should at least be using this feature. Now, the alternative is to simply go to 21st.dev and choose from their collection of UI elements. They have a really good selection. Also, the global search feature is pretty cool. Whenever you type something like card, it not only searches within 21st.dev, but also across various UI libraries, like ChatCN and others that have been added. Plus, you get previews right there, so you can just select and add them easily. To make the process even quicker, just copy the installation command they provide, open cursor, and give it the command. Also, specify that it's a UI component, tell it to install it, and define where you want it to be implemented. It's really easy, and cursor does it almost instantly because you're directly specifying the install command and placement. Within seconds, you'll have whatever UI design or element you choose seamlessly to your project. And that's how you can speed up front-end development using the MCP server. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more AI-powered dev tools.